Hello Lizzie. Hello Jessica. How are you doing today? I am doing great. How about you? I am also doing good. It's been such a long time since we last saw each other. Yeah. That's true. And I really miss you. Come here give me a hug. My dear friend you don't look too happy. What's the matter? What troubles you? <laughs> my sister, it's about my husband. What's wrong? Please tell me. Okay it's fine. There are customers around so let's meet somewhere private. But have you closed from work? Yes please, I was just about to go home when you got here. My sister take a walk with me. Lizzie, so how is your husband and your children doing? They are all doing well by God's grace. We thank God. Yeah always. So how is your son? He was doing great but for the past few days when my husband and I have issues, he is always sick. But today he is a bit fine. He will be fine. Let's go ahead and sit down and talk. What can I serve you? Water, drinks. Feel free, this is also your house. Thank you my sweetheart. But I'm really fine. So my sister talked to me, you know you can trust me with anything. It's my husband I think he doesn't love me anymore. Ten years in our marriage and he is now chasing after young girls. He is cheating. He doesn't stay at home at all. He doesn't talk to me like he used to. The worst at all is my husband now drinks alcohol. I don't know what to do. I am so sorry my dear. But I don't think your husband will ever cheat on you. If he now drinks, then there is something bothering him. But have you tried to talk to him? To find out what is making him put up such an attitude. If you haven't, then I would advise you to do so immediately. My sister as a woman, when your husband is troubled you should be there for him. Stand by him, in good times and in bad times. This evening when he comes back from work go to him and try to find out what the problem is. You are a woman and you know what to do. Do it before those young girls take him away from you. Go and save your own marriage. Thank you my dear. I will do as you have said. Trust me everything will be fine. But remember that you are a woman and you have to submit to your husband always. Do that and you will be fine. Thank you. I would like to take my leave then so that he doesn't come back home to see that I am not around. Please when your husband comes greet him for me. I agree with you on that. Have a safe journey. Call me to let me know whatever happens next. Good evening my husband. Evening. Sweetheart I have observed that these days you are absent-minded and troubled. And because of that you don't give me much attention. Darling please whatever the problem is, please share it with me, your wife because your silence is killing me. Please leave me alone. I want to be left alone. No please I won't leave you alone. I am your wife and I deserve to know what is troubling my husband. You can shout at me all you can. I am not leaving this room until you tell me that which troubles you. Gracious. Can't you be a little bit understanding? Babe you know I love you so much. Please don't do this to me. Please. I love you too sweetheart but I can't possibly tell you what is troubling me. You can't handle it. How? Please tell me. I can handle anything. Babe if you truly love me as you say, tell me, please. Babe I love you so much and you know it. Sweetheart I contacted my doctor and I was diagnosed with heart disease. According to him, I may die with the least heart attack. It has been weighing on me for weeks now. I didn't know how to tell you, because I thought you might not be able to handle it. I'm sorry. Babe how could you hide something like this from me? We have been through good times together and if the bad times, the hard times have come I will stand by you my love. Please come here, give me a hug.
Babe with God all things are possible. Let's keep on praying, for the God of miracle will see us through this. Just have faith that you will not die. Yeah, I believe in God. Yesterday I went to my doctor and he said there's huge improvement and that it can be treated just that it is going to cost much money. I really feel okay right now. Thank you my angel. Thank God. I am so happy to hear that. Let me go and get your food ready for you. You must be hungry. Wow. I really feel okay now. It is true as they say that a problem shared is half solved. I think henceforth I will always share every problem with my lovely wife. She is such a wonderful woman and I love her so much, I don't have to hurt her. Babe I love you.